right, so it's day 17 of my video every single day of April challenge. Uh, I'm on the downhill side, past halfway. Had a great Easter. Uh, Easter's tough on your diet. Uh, I'm only down uh, three pounds this week, so that's seven overall. Uh, you know, it's about half of my goal, a little bit more than halfway, so I really need to step it up. I'd like to be able to coast to the finish line, so uh, ramp things up. I got to stay away from my sweet tea, I think, that's really counting my, hitting my calories harder. I don't know what I'm going to do to burn more calories, but uh, seven pounds is not bad, especially eating yummy Chick-fil-A most of the time, so uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm just gonna step it up a little bit more uh, try to burn a few more calories uh, get a little cardio in and uh, go from there you know For day 17, I was going to talk about something new this year, and that is my armadillo concealment vest for IDPA shooting. It's kind of a silly thing, but for IDPA, International Defense Pistol Association, you have to conceal your gun. You can't uh, uh, open carry. It requires concealment. And, uh, you know, I, I really struggled with learning to go outside the waistband because I learned inside the waistband and to me I could shoot just as fast out of a t-shirt and inside the waistband as I can outside the waistband. I really kind of struggled with outside the waistband but uh, the benefit is I can reload much faster out of this vest than I can out of a t-shirt so I don't know what the reload time's worth but uh, I went this year with armadillo concealment. Everybody, all the top shooters wear armadillo concealment, and uh, they make a great product. I'll give you some close-ups of it, but what's beneficial about it, since I'm in Texas, is it's got this cool mesh. A lot of heat goes out your back, and it's nice and uh, cool. It's lightweight, but it's thick enough and heavy enough where it needs to be in here and in the pockets to get out of the way so you can get a good grip on your firearm. So it's, uh, you know, it's cool enough to wear in Texas so sometimes, but it's thick enough in the right places. I just wanted to show some of the close-up work of the stitching and how thick the stitching is. And, you know, these are all pretty much custom made. And just how the pockets work. They're pretty slick. And, you know, they're big enough you need to use them. And they're minimal and they get out of the way. <laughs> If I had it to do over again, I might have got a flap or something. Every once in a while, I'll stick my thumb in there on accident. But it's, it's, it's more of a training issue than a problem with the product. But uh, So the way to get one of these vests is to go to the website. I'll put the link below. But you got to go to the website, have your measurements ready. Because they only take orders for a little while. And then they get busy and they shut off taking orders. So what I did is I had my measurements with me and at the beginning of the month you just check the website check the website and as soon as they open it up you submit your uh have your measurements ready and send them an email and they'll send you another email back with more details and stuff about flaps and other things other options and stuff it's a great website i think i paid 140 bucks which is a lot of money and expensive but this should last me uh forever as long as I don't get too fat. That's the game plan at least. So uh, we'll see how long it holds up. Uh
Okay, dry fire session. Dry fire session was great. What is it? Monday? So according to Mike Seeklander and Competition Handbook, that is the draw. So focused a lot on the draw. Got a lot of work in with my fancy uh, racing vest, my armadillo concealment uh, IDPA vest. And uh, uh, that vest is really holding up. I'm really happy with that. That's a great product, and you should go check them out. But uh, uh, dry fire was really good. I used a... Uh, one second part time and you know just to keep it boring i'll spice in a little um reload i'll spice in a little transition or maybe a reload every once in a while just to keep it from getting boring and monotonous because every monday is the draw All right, I'm out trying to get my last few steps in for the day, trying to get to my my 15 flights of stairs is what's tough to get. And uh, uh, my 14, or my 1,200 steps I think I'm gonna make. But I uh, got my Chick-fil-A, had to go inside so I didn't get any footage of that. But uh, today's uh, YouTube channel support is Vet Ranch. Vet Ranch is awesome. It is really good. Sometimes I can't watch the videos just because I want to take all the dogs home and. I really don't care too much about the cats, but the dogs, are, you know, I really enjoy seeing the stories about the dogs and stuff, and they, they do a great job. You know, I've mentioned Dr. Matt a few times with his other channels, but uh, both his other channels, uh, Off the Ranch and Demo Ranch, but this time it's Vet Ranch, 